Hello my friend, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to my channel. I made this page for Dress My Craft, this mixed media with three, uh, as you see, with three different photos. I'm using, I'm quickly uh, show you the papers. You can see here how beautiful, look, I'm going to use this paper. You can see the beautiful images on each paper, the texture, and I love this paper. I want to took out the door here to use it on my page today. You can see here the image so nice and look at the rest ah uh, from this paper i cut out some of the lips that i'm put aside now and i'm going to use later the first thing that i'm doing now is priming my paper i am apply a clear gesso with this tool and i am cover all the paper it make the surface ready for the mixed media that i'm going to use now i'm going to take i am figure out where i'm going to place this i think that in this area i will cover a little of the flower but i want to show you some of them on the back and this is the stencil that i'm going to use i just love the design of this stencil from dress my craft uh, I'm, use, I'm using this ink that is the warm lipstick to uh, give these hints of colors on the background. This color is very similar to the uh, flowers from the paper. Look how pretty it looks. Now I want to put a little here very close to the, uh, to the bird cage in this area. And now I'm using this with a sponge. I apply the ink. Uh, the uh, uh, one thing that is important this ink the distress is thi this one is the distress ink is not the oxide so uh, I like that this is more light is uh, and you can see the background of the paper and now I'm going to adhere cardboard on the back of this piece okay look this is the uh, the punch board uh, a punch border a scallop punch border from just my craft and i cut two stripes of white cardstock and i am punch one of the edge of these uh, strips and you can see here i already have two and i am inking uh, the scallop border with the distress oxide in vintage photo these are ready i want to adhere this on the bottom of the of the door but first i need to trim off this uh, space or this border from the paper and now i just love this paper you can see all the texture that it already has on uh, with the design of the paper but uh, i want to add a little of white i think that to make a balance between everything it was a little dark and i am putting here the stripes once i know how i much uh, how much i want to show off the scallop i made marks with the pencil i am cutting a little of this border here because it was too uh, big and now i'm going to adhere this strip to direct to the paper here in this border here of the of the door you can see here what I'm doing. I make a little of pressure to uh, to secure this. Now I am uh, adhering the second one, but this the other stripe I'm going to adhere it over the cardboard. In that way, I give a dimension, and you will see when I. Uh, you can see here now the dimension that has the first uh, stripe with the scallop and the second one. Uh, I'm going to attach later another piece of cardboard to bring more dimension. Now with a scissor, I trim off the excess to the right side here of the piece. In that way, I can show the bird cage uh, from the paper. And I am happy how everything looks, so I am adding a uh, liquid adhesive now to uh, glue this direct to the paper. And you can see here, I am showing a little of the stencil work through uh, the door but you see that it's a hint of color it's not too much and this is a photo of my hobby and i from our last trip i think it was in august to new york here i am uh, adhering the photo to this mat that i cut from dress my craft it is one of the dies this is the scallop t-shirt rectangular dies and from my title i cut this sentiment from the motif sheet 
from the same collection and I adhere the sentiment to uh, this scrap of paper that I took out from the piece of the door and I adhere the, uh, the title here in that way I can highlight more the sentiment and my title I also am going to cut some of these images to put it on my page and you can see here I am start to uh, build everything all the elements here on my page and uh, let me tell you that with the same uh, scallop rectangle uh, no I said it incorrectly I think it's a uh, scallop stitched rectangle die from dress my craft I also cut two smaller rectangle and uh, for these uh, two extra photos that I cut I actually uh, cut two identical photos and one of them I uh, removed the photo, uh, the photo or the face of my husband and mine and I put it in these small uh, frames. Now I, here I am uh, adding more cardboard behind uh, the area that I told you before, um, behind the scallop border and in that way I bring more dimension to the bottom part of this piece. Here I am playing with the small photos and I am uh, put it in a diagonal shape. Here look these uh, small doilies. This is a die from uh, Dress My Craft. And I also make these flowers uh, using the curved uh, flower die. And here are some of the leaves from the paper that I got out. And I am placing here. I am playing with also I am putting these other leaves that I uh, cut out from a die. I will let you down uh, the list of all supplies that I use in this page so you can uh, go and take a look to all the products. Here I am playing, I continue playing with the flowers and look this tiny flower, it's so cute. I just use the smaller, the smaller um, flowers from this die and to make these tiny pink flowers and I'm using more of the doilies and putting behind the uh, package of the doily the small doily comes four different uh, design in the package so I think that I uh, cut one of each one to put in this page here I am continuing playing with the small flowers and the black things that you put uh, behind the flower it is from the motif sheets and I cut it and put it behind. Here, look how pretty looks this flower, these leaves here. And let me tell you that this photo was taken on, we were in Albany, no, but this one was in Coppertown, Coopertown in New York City. Uh, we went to visit the, the old town and it's so pretty. I have been inspired in what I saw in this place to create this page. I just love the old buildings that are covered with all the leaves and they are bricks, uh, these old bricks uh, building covered with leaves and flowers so I am trying to recreate something like that that is the reason that I choose the the old the vintage door because I can see uh, I saw in that place a lot of old uh, doors a lot of uh, you know character in, in the city so I am trying to to do the same here in my page I have been inspired in all that I saw on this place in Coppertown Coopertown in New York City. In New York, it's not New York City, it's in New York. And here I am uh, playing with the key, all the elements that I cut out from the motif sheets. And now in, the, in between the two uh, scallop uh, stripes, I put a flower and some leaves too, to continue with the same uh, with the same design in the bottom part. And now I I think that I uh, put all the elements here and I'm going to uh, adhere all these behind camera. Okay, I already adhere everything and look these pearls. How gorgeous are these pearls? I just love it. They are, has the pearl color with a little of pink and green. It's so cute. And I adhere a few of them here and there on my page. And I'm using the different sizes, so in that way it looks more interesting uh, on the background. Here I'm adding a small one, 
and I play with the pearls. Ones I show ones in pink, others are green, and others are like tornasol because they mix the three colors. It's so cute. I just love these pearls. And now I am happy how everything looks, and I'm going to add a little sparkle on the background. So I'm using this uh, sequence by Dress My Craft. I am selecting all the pinks sequence now in different sizes you will see now what i'm doing and now once i have all the sequence i'm going to attach this with the look with the hot glue uh, on my uh, on my page i used to regular regularly i use a uh, gel medium or any ad uh, strong adhesive but I need to move fast. I am a little behind with all my projects, so that's the reason that I'm using hot glue. And I check it everything to, you know, the, to remove any that was hidden between all the layers. Now I am covering my photos, and now I'm giving white paint splatters over all this area. You know, if you watch my video, you know that I love this technique that it brings this shabby chic and all the, these lovely textures on the background. Just love it. But uh, when I notice the, the paper already has a uh, black paint splatter, so I am adding a little more of this uh, effect on the background. So I'm adding here, I mix uh, black acrylic paint with water. I am adding a few of these splatters on the background and it gives a little more of depth to my page let me remove this and it's wet but i want to show you how everything looks and this is my page i think that i am happy how everything looks you can see here the textures and how i blend all these elements on the background Look, these papers are gorgeous. The papers by themselves already have these rich textures in the design, so you will need just a little more to make this, uh, to create an outstanding page. And you can see here everything, how it looks. Well, my friends, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. I am trying to make pages with more photos as you ask me and that it inspire you. Check the description box for my social media. I hope that to see you there and I hope that you enjoy. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up and let me know what you do you think. You can see here all the closer details and I will let you more in my social media. Here I will let you two more videos that maybe you are interest i hope that this is in, inspired you and i come back soon with a new video tutorial check this two video and i come back soon see you bye bye no vemos